Hello Capricorn, welcome to your reading for the month of May. <clears throat> Power, it's your first card. Are you experiencing or have you been experiencing some breakdowns before a breakthrough? Something has fallen apart, it could be a mindset, it could be systems, it could be something in your life, right? Something that has <clears throat> maybe fallen or given way to something new. Um, I feel it is a good, it's a good tower card because it's like making way for new things. I like this for you, Capricorn. Let's see what the next one is. Knight of Swords. Okay. Let me just pause a little bit to make some adjustment. Okay, so we have Knight of Swords, and it is. It's time for you to be much more focused, much more focused about what you want to do for your future uh, rather than just going along and, you know, moving moving like a stream. Uh, the call for you is to be much more focused. The Knight of Swords is really about a knight, you know, like, um, yeah, you know, like a knight just charging ahead and being very focused about what you want to achieve. Look at that, that image, right? With the knight with the sword, like charging ahead and saying, Okay, I'm gonna be focused. I am I have received a wake-up call and that I need to move on. Okay. Now let's see. We have here Knight of Pentacles, another knight. Knight of Pentacles here, it's about uh also I feel it's about perseverance, you know. Um yeah, it's a very strong persevering energy here for you, asking you to persevere, asking you to um, really stay focused and, and do what is it that you have planned to do for a long time. Now that some of the obstacles are out of the way, it is time to move on. And we have justice. Justice will play out. Things will come into balance, right? Things that have not... Uh, worked out in the past will come back um it will work out on its own justice is playing out in the month of may and one more we have 10 of wands okay so 10 of wands if you are feeling exhausted before because of the tower moment if you're feeling exhausted with all the changes that's been happening in your life that's okay it's okay to rest it is okay to take a break after that, you know, you go back into focus uh, with the Knight of Swords. Mm, let's see. I feel like the Justice card is, uh, on some level, you know, it's, it's telling you that uh, what has been perceived as right is now you're getting clarity on, on actually maybe it's not that right. Or certain things that are perceived as wrong and now you are realizing that, oh, you know, maybe it's not that wrong after all, right? So so justice is playing out on that level as well in terms of your perspective, perspective of things, perspective of situation. Okay, quite a powerful energy there, the justice, because it's a major arcana. But we do have the sunrise, okay? So the sun shining brightly. So there are positive days ahead coming up for you in the month of May and the magician, right? With the changes coming up, month of May is also about creating new realities, using all the resources that you have to create the reality that you hope to create. And I like the magician. I like to end this off with the magician, basically, because the magician is, um, I mean, we have both the, the, the sunrise and the magician, right? Telling us that things are going to be bright and that, you have the power, you have the resource, you have the ability to create the kind of future that you want to create. And it seems like it is going in the right direction. Uh, however, you know, as I want to remind everyone, tarot is not like magic. <laughs> it's not like you do a tarot card and then things, you do a tarot reading and things are just going to happen on their own. You do need to put in the work, right? Everything that I've said um, from you know, uh, being focused, uh, being patient, you know, doing all the things that you need to do, right? And then you create that kind of future, 
right? Reminder, this is a collective reading. So take what resonates and drop the rest. We are going to pick now another tarot deck to see whether there is another message or confirmation of what we just got. And this is for Capricorn for the month of May. Let's see. So for those of you new to my channel, my name is Shamla Khan and I'm a spiritual teacher and intuitive therapist. I use the cards as a way to get in touch with our inner psyche, to know, you know, uh, and obviously this is collective, right? So um, we get in touch with our inner psyche to know where we're going and this is collective consciousness. I'm just tapping into collective consciousness, okay? So we'll pick three cards from this deck and we have here six of wands. Woo, nice. This is additional message to what we just uh, have. So Six of Wands is really about um, you, you will be honoured. You will be celebrated. Uh, there is victory. There is success in you know the days ahead. This is about the future. If you keep a focus on what is it that you want to achieve, what is it that you wish to manifest in your life, there is success. And yeah, that, that is good. And then we... Oh, we have justice again. So double, yeah? So this is definitely a confirmation. Whatever that has been wronged is going to be right. Whatever has been, what you perceive as right may turn out to be not so right. And, and this also is confirmation about um, all the injustice that you have experienced in the past. They are coming back into, com things are coming back into balance. In the month of May for you, which is very good. I like this, right? So we have a confirmation about justice. I like this. I'm very happy about this. Um, let's get one more. And we have here the high priestess. Trust your intuition, Capricorn. Okay, trust your intuition. Go with your higher your higher guidance. Go with uh guidance from uh someone who knows better than you. So it could be a spiritual teacher, it could be your your own, your higher self. It could be someone with a with a seemingly right in inverted commas higher spiritual authority. Someone that you trust. Um, they may have the answer to guide you. Okay, in 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 your journey forward. Let's pick an oracle. What is the word for contemplation for the month of May for you? Hope. For many of you, I feel this is much needed. Okay, hope is much needed at this point. That is good. I like. And then Fairy Oracle for Capricorn. Fairy Oracle. Okay. Ooh, we have one that flipped. Let's see what it is. It says visualization. Okay. We'll pick one more because that one is a flipped one. For Capricorn, what does Capricorn need to know right now? And we have here, pick up your heels. So this kick up the heels, I feel the energy is similar to the Knight of Swords, you know, asking you to be assertive, asking you to be focused. Right, these two, same kind of energy. Okay, so Capricorn, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if the message resonates with you. Appreciate the energy exchange. And I will see you again. Bye for now.